Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Fresh and welcome back to X4 Foundations where we are in a Tears Misfortune 1 and I still need to do some scanning on it. I've moved straight over here but I have I have lots of scanning to do. So let us get scanning. What was that in the distance? Are you? Asteroid. Oh, there's asteroids everywhere. I don't need to concentrate on you, mister. You are just merely a asteroid in a sea of asteroids. Okay, so we're going this way. Three hundred and six, four, three, two, one kilometers. Zero, yeah, two hundred and something now. We will go back to normal space at some time soon. I've actually got to go through to Hatikva's Choice One to get to the next Xenon sector. So at some point Hive we'll be guard. doing that. Hive Guard, you've obviously been attacked by something. What are you being attacked by? Uh oh, there's something, there's something else there. In fact, there's several things there. No, I am not going to stop. <laughs> I should just go straight through. I've never seen a, uh, I've never, I've seen a Xenon go at travel speed, but I've never seen a, uh, a, a Kach go at uh, uh, travel speed. So I don't even know if they've got travel speed capability. This place looks empty. Yes. Let's swap to uh, scan mode and see if we can see anything. It's not looking good. It's looking empty. Hmm. Yes. Yes, quite empty. Quite empty indeed. Let's have a look at the map. How close are we? We're quite close to that. Maybe I should change my uh, change my scanning zone to over here. Yes, let's go over there. That seems sensible. At the moment, it's just rocks, really. There's the uh, there's the defense platform, and I think there was some sort of uh, wharf at the front end of the uh, of the sector. But I think that's it, really. And when you've already found two stations in the sector, I don't know. I don't feel confident we're going to find much else. I'm so thankful that it's not full of mines. Although it was great fun going through all the mines because I just, I just ran through those mines. I didn't stop for anything. I could have easily have got myself obliterated in one quick move, but uh, no, I just, I just went straight through. So yeah, I was quite pleased with the mines. <laughs> I guess it's because I got quite used to avoiding all of these asteroids. In, in the previous games, you virtually never saw a sector with so many asteroids. There are just so many now. Hi, hi. What are you? Um. You're an M and you're getting close. You know what? I feel like taking out an M. We could do with the stuff. With the gear. There, there's bound to be... Go on, don't, don't go past. Don't go past. Yeah, yeah, you saw me. What are you going to do about it, hey? Hey? Hmm? Why are you just... You're still going the wrong way. Come on. We can do something about... We should fight. That's what we should do. You're Xenon. I'm not. We should fight. That's how it works. Hey, Xenon! Come on already. What are you doing? He's just sitting there. And now he's dead. Well, that was a very dumb Xenon, wasn't it? Okay. Container. Let's target that and use the the sucker thing to get that in. Decryption module two of three. I'm glad it tells you how many things you need for all of this crafting because the crafting I've made one thing in the crafting and that was the setter module. Everything else I've left totally. And there are some expensive uh, things that you can make in the crafting. So it's definitely worth doing. I still haven't opened up the black market. I've got like three or four quests. Queen's Guard. Excuse me. I've got three or four quests. Queen's Guard. I'm going to get you as well. Oh no, I'm not. No, no. You can you can go by. There's about six of them. Good grief. Well, hopefully they can stay away from me. <laughs> That's like the most the most of the car I've seen in one little group. I didn't go near their station. I'm sure if I'd have gone anywhere near their station, I'd have found far more car than that. But uh, yeah, 
They'll they'll be fine wherever they're going. I don't know what they're doing. I've looked at the the little key that tells you what all of the things are doing when they when they've got the, these little symbols, the, the little different symbols. I've looked at that, but uh, I I've completely, totally, totally, a hundred percent forgotten. Right, we are in a zone where we can scan. So let's do that. See if there's any rogue stations hanging around that aren't being revealed. No. No, looks like it's all in the middle, really. It really does look like it's all about there. We haven't been over here, though, so let's have a good look over there. And then we shall see. I really love the way that the whole sector lights up with blue when you uh, when you scan it. Mostly just these sectors with all of the asteroids everywhere and the space dust. But, uh, yeah. It's really nice. I haven't seen many wrecks in the Xenon zone. Other than that scale plate green one where there's wrecks everywhere, but they're not the sort of wrecks that you can actually go to. Hive guard. Hive guard. The last hive guard I saw was surrounded. I don't want to be surrounded. None of that. <laughs> Too dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to get over there. I am going to slowly get over there. I really need a, a ship with a, a faster... Uh, engine for, for for investigating sectors I need to send ah, I keep forgetting I've got so many ships uh, and I keep forgetting that I need to send them exploring the place because if I explored the place I would un, un, I would reveal more of the free ships because I'm sure I'm certain that I haven't got them all most of them that I've had have been Taladi ships and I'm guessing that there has to be Paranid ships around the place my favourite type of ship must be out there. I've got a few. I think I've got one Paranid ship. And I'm still waiting for my nemesis to be built because the uh, the factory is still, like, not bothered. Ooh, what I really need to know is which, um, which war or which faction we should prefer in, in the war because, um... I have still not picked a side yet for the wars. There's there's wars with all sorts of factions out there and you can pick and choose. Uh, and I know that at some point I'm going to need to pick a faction. Uh, but I haven't done that yet, so I need to I need to uh, I need to do that. Do not make me fight the Argon. That's not going to happen because the Argon are huge and dangerous and I'm pretty sure they're going to they they would murder me. Although there are three factions of the Argon, and I'm I'm just scared that as soon as you start shooting at anything, anything at all, you'll find that virtually every single thing wants to kill you. Okay, I could scan over there. Mm, I don't feel like I've completely scanned this sector unless I scan over there. Okay, fair enough. I'll scan over there! See you there. I wonder how well I can dodge the asteroids in third person. You only get to see the uh, the little the little boosters around your ship when you go into third person. Otherwise, you might think that the only things that you had were the engines at the back. But look at all that! Look at all that booster stuff going on. I should look at that on the other ships as well. There's, there's like the my my capital ship. I'd be fascinated to know what 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 other little bits there are all over it that are actually doing stuff that I don't know because I'm not looking. In the other games when you were flying ships, the little ships like this you would definitely fly in uh, in uh, first person but the capital ships you'd probably fly in third person. I don't know if that still rings true now because obviously with the travel mode you can be going at excessively high speeds and uh, as such you might not want to be in third person scan time I've never scanned outside the ship actually oh it's it's very similar to scanning inside the ship okay I guess I should have expected that right scan 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 and Nothing. Yeah, I suspect that we're going to get there. It's going to be no different to getting anywhere else. I think it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be nothing. So as such, let us find. Where is it? 
We're looking for uh, Hatikva's choice. Is it Hatikva's choice. Yes, Hatikva's choice one. If it's Hatikva's choice one, then presumably it's one of these sectors that's like several sectors. There they are. So Hatikva's choice one is here. From here, there must be a way to get to another sector that is Xenon. But there's so many places here. Okay, I'm going to put a guidance there. And we are going to Hatikva's Choice 1 to try and find this Xenon sector. I'm pretty sure it's for, from, bleh, from Hatikva's Choice 1. There must... One of those many, many, many um, portals must be the one that leads from there to, to the to the Zedon sector. I've enjoyed scanning these sectors and I'm looking forward to seeing this one because I've, I've totally, totally not seen it at all. So yes, on we go. As usual, most of the, uh, most of the Zedon ships are hanging around next to the, uh... yeah, lots of Zedon ships are hanging around next to the uh, entrance. All of those seems to be mining ships though. Okay, let's get into this entrance relatively quickly so that I don't get stuck with all of these Zedon ships. I've not taken on many of the mining ships, but I don't think they're going to be all that strong. I have looked through all of the various ships that I can actually access at the moment. I was told of a awesome, powerful ship from one of the factions, and I need to I need to focus on getting that. So I think it was some sort of Argon faction, and, and, and yeah. I need to get to it, but I'm not there yet, so I shall uh, I shall have to get somewhere. I think you need ten rep with that particular faction to be able to buy their their wonderful ship, but I don't think I'm quite there with that faction yet. As soon as I am there with that faction, I desperately need to look into that ship though, because unlike this ship, which only has four guns, that ship has six, apparently. That's that's what I've been told. So yes, oh, I might I might want to fly over this, or very very far around it, for I know that that sort of thing has a tendency to give me the rubber banding. So if you're experiencing rubber banding right now, you have my apologies for the said rubber banding. Wow, I didn't know that there are little red crystals all over them. That's weird. There's only one with loads, loads of little red crystals all over it as well. Whoa, whoa, cool. Interesting, I hadn't seen that before. Sometimes it's good to have a good look out the window when you're going back again. I'd be tempted to scan again, but I'm not going to do that. I've already scanned this sector. Can't scan everywhere 50 times. <laughs> well, I can, but it just takes a long while. Aye, aye, the mining ships. They look as if they're planning on going into the other sector. You won't want to go in there, mining ships. I'm pretty sure that that sector will be well covered. Very well covered. Entering or not! Faulty logic. Oh no, I see. This is faulty logic. Okay. Oh, I've got to go through both of these before I get to that sector. Don't go into the map. That doesn't help. I forgot. I've got to go past all of the mines again. Uh, straight past the Xenon defense platform and straight out, hopefully. With a bit of luck. I remember when the Xenon didn't look like these bug things that they'd been, they'd been making. They looked like um, computer cards. The, the, all of the ships were sort of flat with little, little bits coming off them. They looked like um, motherboards flying through space. <laughs> So they really did change their design over the uh, over the time. Right. Let's see if we can get in there at travel speed without breaking ourselves against one of these struts. Yes. On we go and out. Hopefully not into another Xenon sector. Entering faulty logic. One. What? What? I thought I'd done all of the Xenon sectors. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Still going through more Xenon space. And out we go. Considering what's happened to all of these sectors okay. that are like attacked by the Xenon, you would think that the uh, the the various forces of good on the other side 
would have a heck of a lot more ships around those uh, those portals. Actually, I think they would probably destroy them at their first given opportunity, because you really don't want to be around the Xenon. They're bad news. And they do just want to blow up everyone. Alright, so where are we headed? Okay, I am headed in the right direction. I just have to keep going that way. I think this is probably my favourite sector. It's, it's Holy Vision because of this portal. This portal really makes it a really great place to be. So yeah, if you're hanging around sectors, and you, and I don't know what other people's favourite sector is, but that's definitely mine, so yeah. Go there for fun. It's good, it's worth it. You'll like it, maybe, possibly. Or you'll get blown up by Xenon, one of the two. If you do get blown up by Xenon, it's totally not my fault. Nah. Here we go. Into the racetrack in the sky. Off to true sight, evidently. As opposed to false sight. Or, or whatever. <laughs> now, where are we going? In here? Yes, 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 yes. This way. Is it sending me all the way round over there? Has it sent me in a, in a silly shape? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Good. Right. Nearly in her tick of his choice now. And this one is on the highway, so it's really easy to get to. We are in Hatikva's choice. Indeed, I have several enemies in here because I've been not very good with the Hat uh, Argon people. It's not my fault, I tell you. It was totally not my fault. Mostly, apart from it was kind kind of my fault. I kind of I kind of blew up a load of their laser towers. And they didn't approve of that for some reason. I don't know. Now then, where's this jump gate? Is this it? This looks like it could be it. Yes, a jump gate that has nothing attached to it. That could well be it. So let's see what's behind that jump gate. I'm pretty sure it's the Xenon sector. In which case there should be Xenon flooding around this place. Presumably, if there's Xenon flooding around this place, maybe I can make these people like me again, but I'm fairly certain that after you've got 10 of a uh, disapproval rating with a faction, then they hate you from then on. Oh, there's a Xenon. Good, good sign. Definitely Xenon around here then. I'm not going to take on the P. I don't need to. I probably could... It might kill me, but, you know. Oh, please be an open one of these. Darker's Cascade. I do believe that's the one that I've not been in. So, yes, that's where we're going. Darker's Cascade. Is that actually part of the highway system? No, it isn't. What's that? Unknown ship. Unknown ship? Tell me about this unknown ship. Raiding party N. That's not an unknown ship. We know all about the N Ns. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not fight all of those Xenon. They can enjoy fighting with the uh, with the locals. That's fine. <laughs> enjoy, locals. Bye. So this is another sector where you could really get a lot of cargo off those. Yep, there is Xenon around here. No, nope, don't take the travel, travel thing off. Awesome. Alright. I'm sure that's going to be a planet in time. Ah, yes. So most of the Xenon sectors have these planets with all of that. What's all that? There's lightning around the ship. This is not good. Why have we got lightning around the ship? You can see it. The, the ship is... Uh-oh. The shields. No, no, no. This is bad. The shields are not happy with this. How can I get out of here? Okay, let's... Uh, I still want to scan. It's going to go through my shields in no time, isn't it? Hmm. What's that? Unknown object. Unknown object. That'll be a... Uh... Oh, there's lots in this sector. There's so much in this Danger. sector. Just look Hazardous at it. Region detected. Yeah, I noticed that. It's all around me. Hmm. Okay. That was a quick scan. 
We're going to have to do more scanning once I've actually found a bit that's not deadly. <laughs> we'll know when it's we're out of the hazardous region because we'll, we'll stop getting all of these little lightning bolts around the ship. Is the whole region deadly? Does that mean that the Xenon don't have any uh, don't have any shields? Oh, their shields are fine. Wonderful. They don't have a problem with it. Right. I'm going to have to scan this sector very carefully. But I'm going to have to scan this sector very carefully in the next episode because A, I'm all out of time and B, wow, that's scary. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Catch you next time. Bye for now.